This video is uh, the last installment in a series of videos on the method of uh, integration by use substitution. <clears throat> in the previous uh, videos, we've done examples A up to H. Uh, we're going to do these uh, four examples in this video and uh, conclude the series. Um, so in uh, I, we have uh, e to the power of uh, tangent theta d theta all divided by cosine squared of theta. So in this we have got two functions tangent and uh, cosine squared. The question is uh, does uh, the do we have one function which differentiates to give something like the other function. So well, let's see how this works. If we take tangent theta, for instance, derivative of tangent theta is secant squared. Uh, does that look like cosine squared in the denominator? Yes, actually it does. Secant squared is one of a cosine squared. So, so that means uh, our u is going to work as a tangent theta. Uh, so du is going to be a secant squared theta d theta or d theta all over cosine squared theta. So... <clears throat> Our integral, we can write it as the uh, integral of e to the tangent theta d theta all over cosine squared theta, which means this bit is going to be e to the power u, and this bit is going to be just du. And then the integral of that is just going to be e to the u, and then write this in terms of the original variable that is going to be our integral. Then in J we have uh, um, integral of x into 2 minus square root of 2 minus x. This is an integral which is actually initially going to look like u substitution shouldn't work because uh, derivative of x is 1 and this definitely is not a constant multiple of 1. Derivative of 2 minus x is negative 1. Uh, but we have got a variable here, so that's not a constant multiple of uh, negative 1. So at a glance, or ordinarily, u substitution shouldn't work here. But uh, we can actually make it work. And uh, there's going to be two ways we can do that. So in method 1, um, we are going to let u be equal to 2 minus x. Then du is going to be minus dx. So we've got dx here. <clears throat> uh, we've got dx here. So dx is going to be negative du. So that means we have managed to write this one in terms of u. This one is already been taken care of here. So all that remains is this one. But we can make x the subject of the formula here and hence write this one in terms of u. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So from this equation, uh, x is 2 minus u. 
and then this whole integral can now be expressed entirely in terms of u and hopefully it's going to be something that is going to be easier to integrate than this original one so x is 2 minus u this one here is a square root of u and dx is negative du so if we absorb the negative into this we are going to have u to the power three halves product of this and this minus two u to the power half du and these are just the powers of u so we can integrate uh, add one and divide it's going to be five over two two over five here minus it's going to be three over two all divided by that <clears throat> so it's going to be two over five u to the power five halves minus uh, four thirds u to the power three halves plus c which in terms of x is going to be so remember u is 2 minus <clears throat> x so 5 halves there and then 4 thirds 2 minus x 3 halves plus c and that is our integral so that's uh, the first method in the second approach we actually let u uh, be the whole term involving the square root so before u was just 2 minus x this time we even include the square root um, so here we start by squaring both sides so u squared is 2 minus x so x which we are going to need is 2 minus u squared then if we differentiate on both sides on the left hand side we're going to have dx on the right hand side we're going to have minus 2u du so derivative of this um, yeah oh yeah let's just uh, do the steps there so here we're doing implicit differentiation remember u is a function of x so let's just uh, so derivative of this side is going to be one derivative of two is going to be zero derivative of this is going to be minus two u then du dx then if multiply by dx on both sides then we get this thing here so everything now in our integral can be written in terms of uh, u again so x this time is 2 minus u squared and then this is just u this time and then dx is minus 2 u du so um, if we absorb the negative here or maybe let's just take it outside so this is u squared times 2 2u squared and then this is going to be u to the power 4 du and then we integrate so it's going to be 2u cubed over 3 u to the power 5 over 5 plus c uh, so be 2 over 5u to the power 5 minus 4 over 3 
u to the power 3 plus c. Now remember this time u is 2 minus x to the power half because it's a square root. So that means u to the power half 5 is 2 minus x to the power 5 on 2 and then 4 thirds 2 minus x to the power 3 halves plus c which is exactly <clears throat> the same expression as we got there all right so at this point we're going to give you the opportunity to have a go at this too and uh, so you can pause the video and then when you press play then you can compare with our answers all right so we're now going to scroll down to our answers um, and uh, while you are here please do uh, press that subscribe button and uh, if uh, there are any questions please uh, do post them in the comment section uh, please do like the video and share with uh, other people that you know need material like this. So for K, the first thing I want to do is I want to write this in terms of sines and cosines. Right? Then we know the derivative of sine is cosine. But uh, the problem we have in this case is that the cosine is in the denominator so that means making this to be our u is not going to quite work because this is secant as it were because um, we want the derivative to be in the numerator however if we differentiate cosine we get negative sine which we do have a constant multiple of here so that's what we're going to do we're going to let u be equal to cosine theta then du is negative sine theta d theta then we can bring the negative this side so um, our integral can now be simply written as negative du over u because uh, u in the denominator is cosine and uh, this is simply negative of lin u plus c but uh, remember u is cosine so and then using properties of logs we can write this as uh, lin secant plus c and uh, that is our final expression okay and then for the last example we have uh, uh, x e to the minus x so uh, x e to the minus x dx earlier we did this example here so there, it was such that the derivative of this looks like this one. In this one, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Because if we choose this to be u, um, then, in fact, let me show you how this is going to work. Let u be x, then du, is going to be dx in fact from this it just tells you that we're not going to have any joy because here we're just replacing x by u so the integral is just going to be e u e to the that which is exactly the same um <clears throat> so you'd imagine that the fact that there's no squared here that integral would be well easier to evaluate by your substitution but in fact we cannot evaluate this integral using u substitution okay 
so in fact it's a good way to usher us into the other method of integration which is called integration by parts which uh, you can find uh, on our channel uh, in the video entitled uh, integration by parts and uh, there we will show you how this integral can be evaluated thank you for watching